हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज ओजिल वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे क्लास ए सी एम रिपेयरिंग क्लास नाइनटीन सो हेयर वी हैव अम रिपेयरिंग रिपेयरिंग क्लास नाइनटीन सो लास्ट फ्यू मंथ अगो आई डिडेंट अपलेट a single video because uh, i have a lots of work and uh, I, i i am busy with my work so that's why i didn't upload any videos so now i am going to explain this injector section high voltage injector section how high voltage injector section created in this ecm so first of all we have to know that there is a two voltage in the ecm to travel to on the injector first one is 12 voltage second one is second one is 48 voltage so so 12 voltage and 48 voltage these two voltage are very important role to uh, fire the injector on the time you have to know that how 48 12 voltage so you know that uh, you know easily very easily the 12 voltage provide the battery uh, where uh, where uh, installed in a car uh, by the manufacturer so this 12 voltage also come in the uh, ecu and also uh, 48 voltage created so how how 48 voltage created we will discuss on it so um, as we know that the uh, it's also called the uh, voltage booster okay so we are going to use the uh, uh, 4 five component to create a um, high voltage so how create the high voltage okay uh, and now i am going to uh, draw a simple diagram here here we have a uh, i will take uh, red marker here we have a 12 voltage and now here we have a coil and this coil and have one diode this is our diode and here i am going to connect one and channel mosfet like that okay and and this is the ground this ground attach here and also here this is ground so how 48 voltage created and this is the very simple and very easy to understand and this is the gate this is the gate of this mosfet and this is the source of this mosfet and this is a drain of this mosfet okay so this is the gate when gate when gate get voltage positive voltage on the time this ground out here use positive voltage to on so now we are going to connect the one resistance pull down pull down why we use the pull down because when we not applying the voltage here should be a and there should be a zero there should be a zero ground means zero and any voltage positive voltage means one so if we supply the if we supply the one on the time that we it mosfet will on otherwise it will it will get zero automatically from here now this voltage can be provided by injector ic okay it can be a injector ic it can be a switch it can be a uh, any uh, any device which which used to generate the pulse okay how many pulse 1 kilo 1 kilo hertz 1 kilo hertz 2 kilo hertz as your requirement what voltage you need here okay so here 
here this 12 voltage when we turn on the ignition on the time this 12 voltage come inside and this 12 voltage also go inside this coil and this coil also here you can you can see here also 12 voltage okay in normal condition we, uh, we didn't provide this mosfet supply so without supplying this mosfet this 12 voltage traveling here and this will pass out here okay so when we supply when we turn on this mosfet on this mosfet means one time we on this mosfet supply one on the time this mosfet on and this ground travel from here to here here to here so the 12 voltage is traveling from here and negative is here so when this voltage the negative and positive are here on the time this coil this coil will boost up this coil have a magnetic field okay and this will be a charge it will take a more energy and it will get the all magnetic field so it will get a magnetic field when we turn on the when we turn on the supply the on condition one supply means one means high voltage if we supply the high voltage from the injector driver on the time this ground out from drain to this coil one side another side always getting a 12 voltage so it will be a uh, uh, it will it will charge it will a uh, charge so when we uh, when this voltage charge on that time we suddenly we suddenly turn off means mean supply uh, we we uh, cut out the we cut the voltage on the time this ground zero come here and this uh, this ground will not go from this here here this ground this ground didn't pass here on the time this voltage travel from here this voltage push suddenly in full speed on the time you will get here high voltage like a 48 volt or 21 volt whatever you need okay so when we turn on off 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 we supply the voltage on the time this volt, uh, this conductor this coil will charge discharge charge discharge it will be charged and will discharge so on the time it will get the high volt it will uh, created the high voltage so this is the very step to uh, use and make the high voltage okay and now in the ecm diagram so in the ecm we will see here so this is the and we use uh, this coil and this capacitor uh, this um, diode and this mosfet okay so now i am going to make this one so here is a battery 12 voltage and this come the between coil are connected like that okay the coil have connected and this coil connected to one diode and one MOSFET like that here you can see okay and this drain out this this is the anode this is diode this is anode and this is cathode and it connected to the capacitor high voltage capacitor and this will connect to the ground same here two capacitors are used two capacitor are used to store the high voltage current okay and this have one fuse resistance and one side is connected another side is ground and one connected to the low low side pull down and one resistance 46 ohm is connected to the 
IC injector driver ok so this is the very important to understand this is the very simple and uh, very easy so in the last in this video we we are using this so like uh, this is also a coil and here we have this coil and also this is the MOSFET this is the MOSFET and this is the diode here this is the diode and this is the MOSFET and uh, here we didn't uh, I, I have I have not draw a di uh, capacitor so it will also uh, you can draw a capacitor like that here you can see and you can get a uh, you can get from here a high voltage okay so now when ECM all this IC is okay and this IC is okay and this IC is okay so when the when we turn on the ignition on the tab ignition voltage come inside this board and this power IC get ignition voltage on the tab pin number 2 out ground so this pin number 2 uh, out ground for main relay when main relay get ground on the tab main relay on and 12 voltage also provide into the ECM so when the main relay on the 12 voltage 12 voltage get pin number 20 uh, 20 and 23 so 20 and 23 get 12 voltage on the time this IC get fully on and provide here 6.6 uh, 6 volt uh, 5 volt and here 3.3 volt okay here also 3.3 volt on the time if the processor is okay on the time the uh, the SPI protocol will uh, work and it connect to the each other and if the all voltage and all the ICs are okay on the time this processor command to this IC and this IC uh, start switching like that on off on off switching so this IC uh, start switching on the time the uh, this uh, uh, this coil will charge and discharge charge and discharge get uh, on off on off on off on the time this uh, uh, this voltage this uh, if the uh, if we uh, connect uh, connect uh, take a coil and connect this uh, like a relay if you have a relay and you uh, supply the relay in 48 uh, pin number 48 and uh, pin number uh, 85 and in 6 uh, minus or plus on the time it get the um, it will uh, it work like a magnet so same here if we turn one time we turn off and on on and off on the time it will get a AC voltage so this AC voltage travel it will travel from here and this voltage this diode are used to um, convert the AC to DC only DC supply on and this capacitor store the DC voltage so this this DC voltage used used to provide the injector like that here uh, here we have connected and this out for injector and also it's also have a uh, pull down and this also from the injector so this is the full step so how uh, this uh, the 48 voltage created from here for, uh, 48 voltage installed here and how to make this is the full step and this is a very simple never uh, no one can teach you like that so if you get the knowledge from my video please do like share and subscribe to my ch channel and uh, uh, if you need this ECM pinouts power IC pinouts system IC pinouts processor pinouts uh, uh, and this one is a um, injector IC pinouts uh, you just visit the ramzone.in and uh, download the app also from the Google's and you can use that ECM training class also available in English and Hindi both you can visit uh, there and uh, you can get profit from there so thank you thanks for watching